Hey everyone, welcome back to Petro Station. Uh, you just caught me um, panicking about my uh, plants. I am a plant dad and um, I do care about my plants, but uh, I forgot to water them this week and I just walked into the room and noticed that they, um, they're all drooping. So I started to panic, I started to do a quick water. But welcome back, especially to uh, people that have newly subscribed, including my mama. She uh, called me to say that she discovered my YouTube. I, might, I must have accidentally uh, not told her about it. And um, she said that she loved it, but I need to stop saying the word so a lot. I didn't even notice. No one told me, but apparently I say so a lot. So I'm going to try and keep an eye on that, but it's good feedback. I did say, are you sure you're gonna want to subscribe to it? And she's like, yeah. And I said, you do know the majority of the followers are homosexuals. And, and she was like, she said, as long as I'm dressed properly, I've brushed my hair and my teeth. That's what's important to her. I think I should take these glasses off because I think the reflection is not gonna be great. But this week, I'm gonna talk to you about tips and tricks with iOS 15. I do know for a fact that iOS 15 hasn't picked up as quickly as iOS 14. It doesn't seem like much of a great update to, to some people, but actually there's a wealth of new features in there, along with a lot of little tricks that can help make your life better. So I definitely recommend that you download iOS 15 first. I'm gonna talk about iOS 15 specifically for the iPhone. So I'm leaving the iPad for the side for the time being. So there we go, I'm already saying it. She, my mum's gonna be stuck in my head now. Um, well, uh, the first thing we're gonna talk about is live text in Notes. I think I'm gonna do that for every tip. For those of you that use the Notes app uh, religiously, I do. I have to take notes for any kind of situation, whether it's work or just general details that I need to take down. Usually, I'm copying it from whatever I'm looking at, but what you can do now is in a new note, if you hold down and select the live text icon, you can then scan anything that you've got with your camera in front of you and it will automatically pop it into your notes. It's so good. It will save so much time for you and I definitely think this is something worthwhile. Whether it's ingredients or instructions to your husband who doesn't know how to turn the TV on without calling you. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be a lot easier. Next up, we've got Translate Text. This feature I just accidentally discovered, but basically when you highlight text, no matter where you are, if it's in social media or um, an email or anything that's been sent to you, you now have an option when you highlight that text for an option to translate. And I think this is amazing. There's, there's been many times where people have commented on my Twitter and uh, I don't know what language it's in, and I'm very curious to know what they're talking about. It's a super useful feature, I definitely recommend, and I love that it's built in. The next one I have is Auto Translate. I really hope this is not getting on the lens. Now, this is an excellent feature, especially most recently with my uh, mother-in-law, my sogra. She was in Cyprus with my family, and unfortunately, um, my sogra doesn't speak English, and what I found her doing with my sister and my mother was that she was translating things through Google Translate and pressing play and then passing the phone over. They would say something, translate, and then say it back to her. With Auto Translate, there's a feature now where you can have an active conversation with two people in two different languages. It's awesome. So in the Translate app, go to the Conversation tab and then you enable Auto Translate. You select the two different languages, then the first person says something and then it will, it will translate it straight away and you can either read it together or you can press play in order for Siri to, to play it. And then when the next person speaks, it will automatically think it's the other person. So then it will translate that as well. There's even a face-to-face -face option that when you enable, then people on opposite sides of the phone can have the conversation. It's really, really good. I can't wait to try this out with my sogra, but I already speak Portuguese, so we can already gossip in real conversation. Focus. 
Now in iOS 15, this was introduced. Um, it's a revamp of the notification system. It's really comprehensive. Um, you can tailor the crap out of it, basically. You can have the simple do not disturb, and then you can tailor it to allow certain people or certain apps to come through. And uh, the best thing about it is you can tailor it to have a custom homepage as well. That way, when you enable Do Not Disturb, a certain homepage will be displayed, which shows you the information that you want to see when you don't want to be disturbed. This, there's already some presets in there, like sleep, workouts, uh, driving, and you can add your own custom ones as well. Like for example, uh, I'm using my phone to record now. I've got one for recording so that I don't get messages from anyone while I'm recording. It's really, really good. Also, I wanna do a shout out about schedule summary. Um, so another feature for the notification system on iOS 15 is that instead of getting your uh, messages as they come in, you can have a scheduled summary of your favorite apps at certain times. I have a few set up uh, every few hours, so then I get a summary of what I need. Anyone important, that's my husband, any messages that would come from him would come through straight away. Just to say in case he's watching this video. Customize Safari start page. Now if you use Safari a lot, well now you can tailor it a little bit more to display the way you like it. And to do that, if you open up a new tab and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can click on edit. And from there, you can disable different views such as frequently visited, shared with you, or even the reading list. Um, but a really nice feature as well is that you can change the background on Safari now as well. You've got some uh, stock wallpapers in there, but you can also add your own picture too. Refresh your web page. Really simple one, whatever web page you're on, you can refresh the page by simply dragging down like you do with apps. It's a simple update, but a useful one instead of looking for the actual refresh button. Hashtags in notes. This plant here is gonna die any minute from drowning. Again, if you use notes a lot, then you can assign hashtags anywhere within notes itself. And that way, when you're looking at all your notes, you'd select a hashtag, and any notes that you've grouped with that hashtag will be available. Definitely useful for me. I hope it is for you, but if it's not, share this with Siri. So with contextual conversation, Siri can actually share items that you're looking at or uh, music that you're listening to. You just simply call Siri. I'm not gonna say it because then I'll activate various devices. Um, and then say, share this with whoever, and Siri will do exactly just that. Zoom in with Quick Take. Now, Quick Take is where you use the camera feature to take a quick video. Now, on Instagram, TikTok, or whatever, what you can actually do is when you hold down the button to take a video, you can swipe up in order to zoom in. You can do exactly the same now when taking a video on iOS 15. Mimoji clothing. As you may know, with iOS 15, you can now customize your emoji with piercings, different eye colors, and so on. But you can actually change the clothing now. You have various different clothing. You can change the colors as well. I think it's a nice new feature, especially as I'm sending this emoji a lot. Drag and drop photos. This is a great feature, which I have discovered recently. I'm really glad I found it. Whatever photo you're looking at in the Photos app, or if you're on um, an internet browser, you can hold on to that photo and then use your other finger to swipe to a different app and then drag and drop those photos into messages or an email and so on. I think this is a, uh, another great feature. It takes you a little while to get the hang of it, but then once you've mastered it, you're doing it all the time. It's really, really good. And there we go. Those are my tips and tricks for iOS 15. I hope that you found them useful. I always say this, I know, but uh, I really do. I'm gonna now do some damage control with this plant and uh, try and dry the rug. But please tune in to my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe.